Greetings, this is Daniel Persado for Adobe Photoshop CS6 Extended, and today we're going to talk about a few getting started items. And I wanted to run through the menu a little bit here, the 3D panel actually, 3D panel. And there are a few ways you can get started using 3D. There's a 3D postcard option which allows you to simply create, we can do something really quick here, a postcard looking layer. And it's a very simple 3D object as you can see here. Uh, not much to it, you can move it around. and. Um, that's one thing you can do, but let's back up a little further here. There's a 3D extrusion option, which simply creates a um, an extruded object from your 3D picture or image that you have on canvas. Let's push this back so you can see it here. And there you go. It's just a simple cube, square, whatever you want to call it. And that's a real simple way to, to do it. Um, backing up again. Let's go back a little bit here. Image size. Okay. The other options are a mesh from preset. There's cones, cylinders, donuts. For example, if I choose donut and say create, I get a kind of a donut shape there. There are also, you know, spherical panos, wine bottles, different kind of objects you can select. You can even do a grayscale mesh um, depth map, a mesh from a depth map which basically creates 3D from the grayscale values of the object. So if I were to say two-sided plane, say create, it creates this incredible mess. Um, and you can do some really crafty things with the depth map, but you really want to work with that in 32-bit mode only. I'm currently in 8-bit. And if you're going to use depth maps and you want smooth you know, shapes and things like that to create 3D objects, you want to do that in 32 bits. The other option is a 3D volume, which I need more than one layer to do that. Um, that's a separate lesson on its own. And um, those are some quick ways to create 3D objects that are, that are not text. Um, you could also create simple shapes, as many of you know and have probably explored. For example, I like to use oh, all kinds of things here. Pull this out, 3D panel, I can say select from path here, or you can say 3D extrusion from selected work path here. Say create, boom, 3D text, I mean, excuse me, 3D shape, it's late. Um, so that's many ways you can create 3D, and it's, it's a great way to start messing around with 3D and getting your feet wet, and I hope this is useful. Uh, feedback, comments, questions, and that is all.